There we go, Lambeer snagging out that last one, and now we can just walk it down the court. There it is, and we'll pat the stats with a dunk. Amethyst Bill Lambeer. I picked up the masked version for this because, I mean, you can't deny that gold blinders is absolutely disgusting. And we do have a diamond Andre Karolinko gameplay. Check that out, man. It's a fun one. And the reason I want to try out this Bill Lambeer is because the dude's 6'11". He's a 7'3 wingspan and is traditionally one of the best just defensive centers, you know, in the game. The problem always is his normal, you know, Bill Lambeer jumper is pretty weird. It can sometimes be a little, you know, not so great. So we'll see how it goes. But overall, I'm pretty excited because whenever you give me a center who has a nice 85 shot, 390, I think, with the coach boost, and also comes right off the bat with silver clamps, it's going to be a fun time. So I guess we're going to have to see um, how this one goes. So let's flip over Bill and Beer. 6 foot 11, 87 offense, 93 defensive overall from Notre Dame. I knew I had a reason not to like him. Anyway, uh, you can see we have everything is pretty damn good in this Bill and Beer besides perimeter, not perimeter, playmaking, which. Yeah, it is what it is. And then we check out all of our stats. We have a 70 driving layup, a 85 post fade, post hook, and post control, which is more than enough. An 85 three point shot, which with the coach boost, the diamond Steph Curry is going to give us a 93 point shot, which is kind of crazy. An 89 mid range, an 87 free throw, and a 75 standing with a 70 driving dunk. Eh, point making, but he is a center. I mean, like, who really cares? Uh, we have an 82 block and 88 interior defense, which is pretty nice, just no steal of perimeter. And we do have really good rebounding and some decent speed for a guy that's going to be playing our center position. Then one Hall of Fame badge and Hall of Fame sh set shooter. You mix that with um, the silver catch and shoot. Anybody that has dimer and just all around being pretty decent at timing your shots, you'll be fine with it. Also has corner specialist, um, difficult shots, brick wall, drop stepper, glue hands, which you love to see. Also that rim protector, box, interceptor, intimidator. He has rebound chaser, post move, lockdown, blinders because he is a mass version, which is crazy. Grace under pressure. I think that stop and pop, which boosts ratings, um, shot rating on standstill three-pointers after dribbling. I don't suspect I'm going to be seeing that badge pop up, but I guess it's cool to have. Uh, I just want to know uh, when Bill Lambeer was out there dribbling around like he was Steph Curry and then chucking up threes. That would be hilarious to watch. Um, then we have five silver. You can see post spin, silver clamps. Love to see it. Defensive leader, pogo stick, and menace. All around looking pretty damn good. Now, like I said, the problem with Bill Lambeer is always that his jumper's a little bit awkward. I mean, you're seeing it on the screen right now. It's a little weird. You know, it's just, I don't know, sometimes it's pretty tough. It's just the time, and it's a little bit slow. It's a little weird, but when I was making it, you know, in the freestyle, it was actually not too bad. So we'll have to see how it goes. Um, I guess this Bill Lambeer, I'm basically just testing to see if he's a better budget center then somebody like a Kristaps Porzingis to really see if I can replace that Kristaps because obviously the defense is a little bit weak. And if we can get that jumper down, I don't know, it might be a fun time. So I'm at least excited to try this Bill and Beer. If you are too, that like button down below. Again, make sure you check out that Diamond Andre Karolinko gameplay already out on the channel right now if you guys want to check it out. And after this, I'm probably going to do a Mask Kyrie because that card looks pretty gross. Uh, so yeah, without further ado, let's hop into the gameplay with Amethyst Bill Lambeer. Okay, somebody with... The new masked Kevin Durant, and he has Andre Karolinko, so the defense could be pretty crazy. Um, Anthony Davis also could be locking up this Lambeer a little bit. So, all right, I guess this is a true test to see if Lambeer is going to be a great budget center going up against one of the best right there. And, oh, all right, coming inside, good dish off. We jumped a little early on there. And Booker versus Karan, I guess, will be an interesting one. We'll call our freelance the 21 delay. Always oh, running it out, and I want to try pick and pop. I'm hoping I can get him open. Um, off rip there it is we got them oh not the midi okay we got some interesting things Karan Butler is on him I just want to get a bucket with Lambeer have some fun all right I guess not he's gonna leave Ron Boone that open I gotta give it to him and I gotta green it out but not too bad apparently gotta get 25 assists with Lambeer this game not, I'll give it a shot oh hey Lambeer getting a block right there like to see it. Anthony Davis is out there reaching I was hoping that would mean an open Bill Lambeer three uh, but guess that's not going to be the case. Oh, but Lambeer. <laughs> no. He's going to drop for the paint and miss the easiest layup in the history of layups. I'm going to try to follow this AD. Nope, Ron Boone is over for three. And that's going to be Oh, my Lord. I cannot believe Lam uh, Lambeer missed that. All right, there we go. Lambeer open off the catch slightly early, and it's not going in. I guess the one thing I did notice when I was shooting with it is that if it wasn't green, it wasn't going in. Oh, Booker of all people is coming out with a steal. Obviously, we have Carmelo that open in the corner. You got to at least throw it to him to make it. Melo has nine of our 12 points. Um, Lambeer is missing all the layups. But, I, you know, it's, it's still a fun game. 
All right, Lamb Beer's actually horsing it up a little bit, snagging that one. That was an open at Carmelo in the paint, but we're not going to be giving him that one, at least not right now. And let's do a little pick and roll because the pick and pop's not been working around it just like that. And right when I run the pick and roll, the pick and pop would have been open that time. I'm still leaving everybody wide open. Gus Gerard in the corner, and there's the green. So at least we can get those little mismatches and cause some nice little, I guess, uh, ball moving for the threes. Oh, there we go. Baiting out that corner pass, which is actually working out really good for us. There is a Ron Boone who, who is running damn open. Get this one to Booker. I want to run over and get a little pick and pop action, even with this Andre Karolinko on us. And now Bill Lambeer has Ron Boone on him. And there's the dunk. Finally, a bucket for Lambeer. He's got two points, a rebound, an assist, and a block, doing everything but scoring. All right, Ron and Boone and Bill Lambeer. I'm going to keep trying this pick and pop until I get one. That leaves us open enough for it. But, oh, look at him go. Lambeer getting the dunk right there. The pick and pop kind of worked, but it was a dunk, not a three. There we go. Lambeer getting the boards. Obviously, he's trying to stop that, uh, I guess, little three-point shot out there. Oh, look at the loop around. He was waiting for it. There's the midi slightly early, and it's falling. Like I said, um, it's a bit of a slower jumper. It's a bit of a weird jumper, but you know what? He can still hit it, so I'm not too mad about it. All right, we somehow oh, got a good matchup there. We can kick that out to Booker, and it's going to be a green. We had some mismatches, and Lambeer getting his third assist. I mean, he's not doing what I thought he would. is sort of like stretching the floor, but he's playmaking real damn good. Oh, Lambeer getting a steal right there. Not too bad. You got Booker running to the corner, and Lambeer should have been open himself, but I guess he didn't really want to be. Um, so he didn't end up getting open. We'll dish that down to Mello. That's an easy little layup and fourth assist for Lambeer. Uh, six points, two rebounds, four assists. I think he has two steals as well. He's playing damn good. All right, so the bench squad is in here just to take a little bit of ease from us. And, ooh, we could have we cooked up a little something with Kyrie Irving, uh, but I guess not. There it is, though. Gets the three open. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> Actually contested. Not really that open, but, hey, it's smacking out. Oh, there we go, a block, but oh, we can't get the board with Lambeer. That's so tough. All right, Lambeer, let's get this screen for Booker. Let him roll around. Who is guarding Mello? But oh, it's only a two, not a three. All right, it's still a tie game. There's still two and a half minutes, but that, that's, uh, that hurts a little bit. Oh, Lambeer cooking it up in a paint on Andre Karolinko and getting that finish for the two-point lead, and he's got eight points himself. That's not too bad. Oh, another block right there by Bill Lambeer. This one we're actually able to secure the rebound on, which is honestly kind of amazing. I want to get this little pick and pop, see what he's doing. Oh, there is the cook. Lambeer for the midi. Slightly early. <laughs> no, it's not going in. You have to hold this jumper so much longer than you think you would. All right, Booker and Lambeer, the dynamic duo. Yet again, there he is inside. Kick it to Mello in the corner. Oh, and Mello smacking it. Five assists for Lambeer. Now five-point lead with a minute left in the game. All right, here it is. We got the pass in quick. And honestly, I'm just going to throw this one right over to Lambeer. Uh, make it easy for us. And Oh, Booker's inside the paint. I think our man may not be playing, but I'll take the easy assist. Eight points, three rebounds, and six assists. For Lambeer. It's a pretty good all-around game, despite not really hitting his jumpers. There we go. Lambeer snagging out that last one, and now we can just walk it down the court. There it is. And we'll pat the stats with a dunk over Andre Karolinko at 10 points right there on the dunk. All right, so here are the end stats for our men. Obviously, Carmelo Anthony led the team in scoring 22 points, 3 rebounds. But look at the all-around game by Lambeer. He had 10 points, 4 rebounds, 6 assists, 2 steals, and 4 blocks. But was 5 of 15 from the field and 0 of 4 from 3. And I would say the 0 of 4 from 3 is purely because if you don't green the jumper, it, it's not going in. I'm going to be honest with you. And it just... It's weird because you have to hold it longer than you would think you would have to hold it. I do think that you can make this Bill Beer work and work really, really well. Um, just because with the coach boost, he's a 95 three-point shot. You just got to hold it long, man. It's a longer jumper, and it's a little bit weird on when you should release it. But I think if you get it down, you can actually have a great time with this Bill Beer Because, again, his defense is just unreal. Um, even if you get him switched out on other guards, um, he's perfectly fine out there, you know, keeping up with them with his silver clamps. Um, and he's got a big, long player build, which I love to see. And all around, he's a great guard. But... His offensive game is definitely lacking. He was getting caught a few times, you know, here and there, doing his thing, um, even in the post. So 
I would watch out. And he missed that one layup right in the beginning of the game. Like, how would he miss that? But either way, I still think he's all around a great card. He's super fun. And uh, yeah, pick him up, try him out, have some fun. I got mine for like 10k MT because people know that the jumper's a little bit iffy. So he's super cheap. Do I think he's better than Porzingis? Defensively, by far. Offensively, not really. So it's kind of tough. I wish we could have like a happy medium between the two or like a lamb beer with a Porzingis jumper. It'd be crazy. But as it is, I think he's good, but I would probably put him behind a Porzingis when it comes to like budget cards. So like the video guys did enjoy, comment down below what you think of the bit of lamb beer and hit that subscribe button if you guys are new to the channel. Hope you have a great rest of your day and I will see you in the next video, which will hopefully be a masked Kyrie gameplay.